ladies and gentlemen, how you doing today? My name is Billify, and today we are here to counter a glove. Which glove might that be? Why, of course it's the plank glove! And these are going to be the amazing goobers that are going to be helping us to figure out what counters this brand new plank glove. We have Sho, Bio, Mew, David, and Hatmasters. I appreciate all of you. Let's get into this. Anything that you can quick dodge with is going to be something that can work, like default. It's not the best, but if you do see them getting ready to drop a board on you, you can just use this to jump and dodge out of the way. It's not the most effective thing that you can use, but it is something that you can use to just quickly dodge out of the way. So you'd have to play pretty much extended. Ooh, even then. That's really tough on the timing. With these, it would be more or less something that you would use to charge them from the sides because it takes them a while to spin around so charging at them and to the side might be the better move for movement gloves instead of waiting for it to drop and then dodge the rocks i pretty much want to say that these are top counters maybe not diamond but if you're going to use the rocks definitely use either custom or mega rock if you do have them it is something that you can panic use so if you see them getting ready to drop one of the boards on you you could just go into the rock form and if it lands on you look it just goes straight through you it's not going to clip you it's not going to hit you you are perfectly safe but even if it is drop like that, you can go right back into the rock. So rocks are very good in this scenario. Swapper works, but it has kind of a long cooldown for this. So if you see somebody building up a plank and it's getting ready to hit, you can swap with them and swap someone into danger. It does work like that. But again, the cooldown on this takes so long that you're probably going to get hit because they get theirs a lot faster than you get yours back. I'd say probably like 50-50 on the counters. It'll be hard for them to hit what they can't see, but as a ghost, you're still vulnerable to being hit. So this is like 50-50. Thanos is a saving glove. If you get hit off the edge, you could use this to teleport back up. Not a counter though. Low key, can you build a wall really quick? <laughs> I think you absolutely can. You just have to be much faster than they are. So as soon as you see one of them loading up a board, just place a wall. And look at this. You're perfectly safe. <laughs> Fort counter! <laughs> I wouldn't say that fort is a top counter, but it is one of my favorites, and it's really fun to use. What happens with pusher? This is 50-50 just due to the cooldown, but what happens with it? We got construction workers over here. What's going on? All right, so if we cast out a wall... Interesting. When it placed, it got placed like this. So yes, so if you see them charging, you can throw the wall at them. And when they run into it, when they place it, their planks will look like that. So pusher does work to kind of troll them. Just got to watch that cooldown. So maybe like 60% of a counter here. Speed run's a really good glove here because it's going to be hard to hit a speed run running around with a plank. You could always just run around, go in and slap. But them trying to angle it on you while you have the speed run is super difficult. Unless you get like right up in their face, which the AOE will get you then but they have to time the board to where you're running so you could go around in a circle but if you're predictable you can still be hit but if you're not predictable you can run up on them and get them hit and make them drop their plank so speed run in my opinion might be a top counter you should be perfectly safe with golden but this is only like a 50 percent counter just due to the fact that the power up ability takes forever to get back but in golden form if they were to drop this on you nothing's gonna happen you are perfectly safe perfectly safe are clones hittable by this plank Oh, they are! So, yep, don't use replica. The only reason I'm gonna include this in the video is just to show you that they can be hit. What about reverse, though? Ooh, they take the hit. Okay, reverse works. And this has a decently fast cooldown, but they definitely get their planks back very fast to where they could probably use their ability a couple times before you get your reverse ability back. So, just keep that in mind, but... Yeah, you could use reverse to hit them if uh, you do see the planks coming down after you. Shukuchi's good. You can't be hit by anything while in an animation. But the bad part is, if somebody else has a board and you're in an animation, they're going to wait for you to get out of the animation and then slam a board on your head. <laughs> Alright, so there's a board. Yep, you can go into this to avoid that. But you have a long cooldown and they get their plank ability very quick. So that is one thing that you do have to watch. So I'm going to say Shukuchi's like 50 to about 65% of a counter here. Whoa well works, but you have to get close to use this. And depending on how close you are it increases the odds of you being hit by a board if they are building planks and you use the ability oh it stops them okay they do get their ability back faster than you get your shockwave back but you can use this to push them and make them stop using the board so this could be a huge deterrent and a counter you just have to watch that close range ability of the plank but woe can work adios is the second saving glove if you get hit by a plank and you're falling off the edge you could use this to relocate back but this is not a counter this is just another one of those saving gloves using balloony it can be very hard to hit you always rock the two balloon method but if you see them charging up their plank just go up in the air it'll be a lot harder for them to time out on where to hit and then you could always just drop back down and go after them if you jump up in the air with three balloons uh oh but if you just have three balloons stacked here you could just jump over and no matter how high they try to build they cannot build up to balloon limit oh my gosh <laughs> balloonies trolling me today but it can work to dodge <laughs> 
but maybe not the best <laughs> if the balloons are gonna troll. <laughs> Phantom is just like the default glove, only you're invisible. Ooh. <laughs> Drek is a deterrent. If they get hit, yeah, they drop the plank. So yeah, this could definitely be something to where if you see them starting to build up a plank, you can set a uh, tracker on them. It'll force them to either drop the plank or try to angle to hit and then they get hit. So it's kind of a win-win with track here. Nowhere near a top counter. This is just something that is like a deterrent, but also a counter at the same time. Table flip is a deterrent. If there's a plank on the ground, it alters the way a table flip will kind of extend across. So you just have to watch that. But table flip can be a deterrent. But again, you do have to watch the planks on the ground because they do bounce off of them. Ping pong is a deterrent slash counter. You could kind of consider this just like track. If there's a plank, it will phase right through it. You just can't miss. That's the big thing with ping pong. Don't miss. And that is the exact same thing for slicer. So I'm going to pair ping pong and slicer together. What happens with whirlwind though? Uh, it works, but at the same time, I don't know. I'm just not a fan of the cooldown for this, even though it can work. Thor will put you in an animation so you can panic use this. If you're going to panic use either Thor or X Grader, definitely use Thor instead. So if a board's being built up, you can go into the Thor animation and hit them. Even if you get hit by the board like I just did, it's not going to do anything because you are in that animation. But the bad problem with this is the cooldown. I'm going to give this a 50-50 as well. What happens if you're in a cloud? Oh, you're perfectly safe while in a cloud. <laughs> you could actually help people build up. <laughs> <laughs> so cloud is just a glove where you could use it to stay safe, but there's nothing for offense, so 50-50. You can't parry a board, but you can kind of use this to dodge. Yep, you can't block, but if you see them getting ready to do that, you could always just jump dash in and hit them. That is the only way that I would use parry. You're safe with jabated, but you're also going to be hit. And what I mean by that is, if they go to slap you, of course the illusion's going to take over and you're going to smack them. But if they hit you with the plank, it's not going to register and it's just going to hit you off the map. But when you do, it'll teleport you back to your body. The bad part about it though is, they get their ability back way faster than you get your illusion back. So you're going to be kind of left in the water with nothing against them. So 50-50. Blink can work, so you could always bait them into trying to hit your clone and they won't be able to see you. You can always walk up behind them and slap them but your clone can be hit which will reveal you and you can be hit while you're oh you can't be hit while you're in blink okay so you could be safe they go to drop this on top of you while you do have a clone active nothing will happen against you i think i might put blink at a top counter slapstick would be like a 50 percent counter because you can hit them while moving they have to remain stationary when placing the board so if you have your arm built out like this you can just hit them while they go to place the board so you could always just surprise them and be like bonk <laughs> Just make sure you angle yourself to where you're not going to get hit. That shouldn't have hit me. I was way to the side. <laughs> that was the true power of desync right there. <laughs> but yeah, you, you get the general gist of what slapstick can do. Speeves can't be hit, but if you're just a solo speeve, it's not easy for you out here. If they try to drop that plank on you, nothing's going to happen. You're perfectly safe. This is... <laughs> I don't even want to put it at the counter list. This is just something to look at. They can still use the board while in God's hand, but they can't turn it. So God's hand has that advantage. Well, it's like they start it, but it doesn't work actually. Oh, okay. I got you. So it was better than I thought. God's hand actually stops them fully from using the ability. God's hand will counter that part, but I wouldn't use this because it takes ages to get the time stop ability. What happens if you're a Titan? Okay. It's just like a small rag doll. You don't have to worry at all with this. If you stomp them, it does make them drop their plank. So I think I'm going to put Titan at a top counter. Acrobat is just another default. Works the exact same. Bus can actually be pretty useful here because a plank has to sit in one space. So with them being in the same spot, <laughs> Miss Frizzle would like to have a quick chat. Just like that. <laughs> <laughs> Nowhere near a top counter, but it can be really effective. Phase will keep you safe from the planks, but it doesn't really do anything for offense, so this is like 50-50. Perfectly safe. Wow. Warp works well if you have somebody slapped beforehand. So if you're being surrounded by planks, you could always just go to the side and teleport and escape that way. But I feel like there might be a little bit better of an option. Bomb can be a great deterrent, but also a low tier counter because they are stuck in one spot. But as soon as you have them getting close with the planks, you could just throw your bombs at them. But yeah, if they are charging the plank and you throw the bomb, they either have to release it and run or try to sell out to try to hit you. So as long as you're throwing the bomb and then always moving, this is pretty effective. And you could say the same thing for bubble because with bubble, they can see the death bubble coming directly at them. So they have to either sell out or drop the plank immediately and you get your ability back very quick. And it takes away their plank. <laughs> jet is just like bus, but it takes a long time to get there, so I would not use jet. Shard is a great distance glove that will make them drop the board, and it has a fast cooldown. So if you're accurate enough, which they're standing still, so it should make it a little bit easier for you. 
you could definitely get them to drop that plank. I'm gonna say shard is actually gonna be pretty much a top counter here because you could stop their planks from a distance and they're not a moving target so it makes it 10 times easier for you. Bob is a deterrent as well just like bomb and bubble because this again does force them to either drop the plank or sell out for the hit. Is Jupiter any better than Cheeky? Uh... Yeah, I could say Jupiter's much better than Cheeky. If you're looking for something to reduce how much a plank will do, Jupiter is that option. If you slap the plank user before they start their plank, detonator works out great because as soon as they start to build up the plank, you can explode the detonator. This is just like warp. It requires you to slap before they get the plank going. Hybrid has the yellow mode, which is the Jupiter, and you don't even have to have the glove equipped. So fantastic option for reducing knockback. What happens if we're on our dear friend Larry? First of all, it's gonna be hard to hit you with a plank because you are moving pretty quick with Larry. <laughs> I think you're fine. Yeah, I think you're perfectly safe. And you could also just send Larry's out to go attack them. But the plank, if it does hit you, will not enrage Larry. The only time Larry's gonna be enraged is if they slap you. Fish is a top counter, easily. If you get hit, just fling and flop right back into the arena. You're perfectly safe. Fish is probably one of the best on this list to stay safe against them and be really effective against them offensively as well. Voodoo combos! They should work here. Contestant right over there getting ready to say hello to the boards and they get hit. So yes, voodoo combos do indeed work. If you manage to hit them with leash it will fully nullify them they cannot place anything so this is really good i would say not a top counter but like 75 percent counter just because it's a passive not an ability kinetic works for a one-time knockback reduction so this works if you get hit you can use this to reduce your knockback like that because of blast takes so long to get back you're gonna have to keep dodging and going left and right until you get your ability back so that is something that you do have to watch but if you do <laughs> <laughs> but if you do get hit, you could use this to stop your knockback. With Sparky's fast speeds, it can be very hard to hit. In the early stages, it's really, really, really easy to predict where you're going to be. But once you're in the faster stages, even if they try to predict where you're at, landing it is a whole other ball game. <laughs> very, very, very hard. But you can go up and surprise them and land a shot like that, and you won't even be hit by their plank because you're just moving too fast. Yeah, I think I might put Sparky as a top counter. What happens with Boogie if they have a board being built already? Oh, it makes them drop it. Okay. The one thing with Boogie, though, is you have to watch outside sources. They can still hit you. Just go to the opposite side if you're Boogie, and they can't catch up to you or chase you. But if they are building up a board, you can just use this to make them drop that board. Not a top counter, but something that is really, really effective. Recall is the last of the saving gloves. If you get hit by a big old plank and it's sending you off the edge, use this to just teleport yourself back up. But not a counter, just a saving glove. Are you safe in the telekinesis jump with Psycho? Ooh, I think you are. Yeah, if you time it out very well, you absolutely can with Psycho. So Psycho can be really effective here because you can dodge it, you could panic use it if you're quick enough, that is. Or you could just use this to fly directly at them or to the side to evade. So Psycho's good. Kraken can be pretty effective, but as soon as you see them use the plank, just use your ability and smack them. It makes them drop the plank and makes them also rethink about going after you. The cooldown of Kraken is a lot faster than I thought it was. So Kraken might be a top counter, not gonna lie to you. A plank is not gonna stop a rob. So if there's a board getting ready to land, you could obviously just go into the rob form and it will not hit you and you can't be hit in rob form you just got to watch the cooldown because it is quite long if you eat somebody early into your rob phase not a top counter but good faster speeds with rhythm are just like speed run but i would probably use speed run over rhythm because it does take some time and if you have a good run with rhythm you're probably going to get countered <laughs> you can be safe with rojo's animation but at the same time if you miss your done. Rojo's only good if you have one person targeting you with it. Every ability in Hitman is great. You have the ghost ability, which you can sneak up on them with after you slap somebody. Or you have the guns, which shoot them from range. But it also slows down your character, so it's not ideal. Or you could use the warp that this has to get really close to them really quick and make them drop the plank or hit them and make them drop the plank. <laughs> <laughs> it takes a bit, so I'm only going to say 50-50. Retro is fantastic here. Rocket launcher can work out very well. If you see them getting ready to use the plank, just shoot them with a rocket. <laughs> you get your ability back super quick too. Or you could use the bomb to get close to them and start smacking them. That works. Retro is going to be a top counter, and it might be the best on this list just due to how quick you get back your rockets after you shoot them. So huge W for Retro. You should be perfectly safe with Alchemists. Just craft you an invincible potion, which requires this Elderwood that's right here, and a mushroom, which is right here. Play down a cauldron, put in two mushrooms and one elder wood, click this ladle, drink yourself an invincible potion, and if they try to land a plank on you, you are fine. Nothing's gonna happen to you. Use this time to go collect other potions, to go create either an explosion potion, fire potion, lethal potion, whatever crosses your mind. So I'd say that maybe alchemist is a top counter, but at the same time, maybe not. We'll see. Druid's great. You should stay safe the entire time. While they're building up their plank, just throw the druids at them. 
it will make them drop the plank and tangle them up. They get their ability back before you do, but you get yours back really fast as well. So it's not something you really have to stress about. I think Druid might be a top counter as well. Santa is super effective here. As soon as that plank gets done moving, jump into that and you can avoid being hit. And then you can go and throw whatever you might need to at them. You could also use the Bob Plush to hit them and stop the ability. Whoa, wait, did that completely remove the plank? Okay, no, it didn't, okay. But if you do sleep them, it makes them drop the plank as well. So two out of the three abilities with Santa are super effective. So yeah, Santa's definitely gonna get a top counter from us. Ice skate's really effective to be fast and dodge out of the way. So if you see a board up in the air, just go into the ice form. As an ice user, it's gonna be very hard to hit you while you're ice skating around like this. And that jump boost also makes it really difficult for them to land a shot on you. This isn't a top counter, but you can relate this to speed run, but this would be a lower tier of speed run. Run is very effective. This all comes down to whether or not you can dodge that plank though, because you're gonna have to be close and the AOE definitely favors them when they're close like that well i walked back into it but it will grab them if they do have the planks so yep as long as you dodge their plank you've got them because they are stuck in that position frostbite can be somewhat effective against them you just have to dodge their plank once they have that plank going you could just use your ability they can drop it on top of you because you do slow down it's basically going to be a trade-off every single time where they hit you with plank but you freeze them it's just a trade-off glove of <laughs> infinite survival between the two of you <laughs> And then you could, of course, throw a plank at another plank user and just have plank wars. <laughs> and that's gonna do it for the counters on this brand new plank glove. Shout out to Hatmasters, Gravity, Crafty, Bio, Carl, and Show. I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for helping. Which counter was your favorite? I think for me, I might either have to go blink or I forget there was something else. I'll say it while I'm editing. Which counter do you think was the best? The rocket launcher on retro is just way too good not to say it's the best, in my opinion. But let me know what you think on your two choices. Other than that, ladies and gentlemen, we all hope that you have an amazing rest of your day or night whenever you do end up watching this, and we will see you in the next one. Later!